Hey guys, welcome back. Oh my goodness, it is so good to be filming. Our family has been through the ringer with the influenza A. I have been sick for two weeks and it has been horrible, especially when you've also got the rest of your family sick. And of course, mom is the one that gets it the worst and the longest. <laughs> but it's really good to be back filming. I do still have kind of a froggy-ish <coughs> in my throat with a little bit of a cough. So I'm going to sound a little different today. And I mean, filming is like getting back on a bike, but it's a little bit of a wobbly bike. So we're a little wobbly today. Today I also have my giveaway winner because, oh my goodness, the giveaway ended and we all just dropped dead with fevers and the influenza A, you have like 103 fever for a very long time. It was it was not a pleasant two weeks for us here. I've got to do the giveaway winner. We're going to unbox my BoxyCharm Premium and do a try on. And I'm going to tell you guys whether I think it's worth the value of it or not. It is a $35 box and it's a monthly subscription box. So it's a separate subscription from BoxyCharm Base Box and BoxyCharm Base Box Lux. So if you get BoxyCharm Premium, you get it every month, but you can get it in addition to the other boxes. So I've really kind of had my eye out as to whether or not this box is going to be staying on my subscription list. I did get this box like the day after I got sick, so it's been sitting around for a couple weeks, which is sad, but I couldn't really dig into it anyways. So we are just going to hop into this box. I'm going to try some things on. I'm going to announce the giveaway winner, and that's going to be my first video back. So let's hop into this box. Unboxing. I'm going to start out with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. I have been using this the past couple days because I wanted to try it out. So I got, what did I get it in? Diffused heat. So here's the packaging. It's the pretty hourglass packaging. And this is what diffused heat looks like. And I love this shade. I think it's so pretty. It says that it is a hybrid that combines the customized lighting settings of ambient lighting powder with a spectrum of breathtaking modern hues, resulting in a seamless, soft focus, multi-dimensional color. Can you believe this little tiny thing is a $40 value? That is so crazy to me. It is really pretty though. Um, and I'm excited that I got this because I had got the ambient lighting ghost palette. When did I get that? Sometime in the fall, I picked that up and it really didn't impress me at all. So I ended up returning it because that's a lot of money to spend on something that you don't really even like. I mean, I thought the blush was okay. So I'm glad that I now have this blush. So I am excited for that. So like I said, that one is a $40 value. And then the next thing I've also been using probably for about a week and it is the Coors Body Butter. And I have it in guava. I don't know if there were different scents that you could get in this. Is that it, it's good for dry skin and helping to improve elasticity and smoothness. I don't really know that I've noticed that. Um, I mean, it's a fine body butter. It says it's a $32 value. I feel like that's totally insane. And I would never spend $32 on a body butter because there are body butters and lotions that are just as good out there that are more affordable. The scent does not smell like guava to me. To me, it smells more like powdery fresh, I would almost say. Like a fresh oceany, but with like a powdery hint to it, I guess. So the scent's okay to me. I'm glad that I got a lotion because I always use lotion and I was in need of some. So it's definitely going to be of use to me but I don't think I would put a $32 price point on it, but it works just fine. Um, the next product I am going to, this is gonna be a try on, I'm really excited for this. So it is the Picante palette from Carity. I have not used this yet, I haven't even opened it up actually. And this was a choice. I do not remember what the other choices are, but I have not tried Carity eyeshadows yet and I wanted to, so that's why I picked this one. And it says, spice up your life with 21 pigmented shades and multiple finishes. All right, so this one is a $29 value. It's a pretty neutral, warm palette, but I did want to try these eyeshadows, so I'm glad that I picked this one to give it a try. Maybe we'll do something like purpley, purpley yellowy today. I do wish there was a mirror on it. There is not. I'm going to start out with Delia, which is this shade right here. So it's kind of a peachy neutral shade. 
and that's just going to go in the transition area. That has really good pigment to it. I haven't done my makeup in a long, like my eyes specifically, in a long time. <laughs> Boy, that flu really seriously knocks you out. But I'm glad to be back filming and getting back into my routines. I feel like that's the hardest part about being sick for a long time is missing those routines. Like when you're in the really, really depths of being sick, you could really care less what you miss. Uh, you just sleep all the time. And then you start to feel a little better, but not better enough to do anything. And you, but your brain is realizing how much you've missed. And that is really overwhelming. Um, so I'm just glad to start getting back into things. And hopefully I don't get sick for a while so I can get back to all my routines and catch up on everything that I've missed. I'm going in with Spicy, that's this shade right here into the crease area and just giving that some depth right there. This one's really, I would say this one's really pigmented as well and a pretty color. And for the very inner corner of the crease, I'm going to take Flamenco, which is this shade right here. And then on the very outer part of the crease and outer V, I'm going to use Pice this shade right here, a more purpley shade. So first I'm gonna go in fl with Flamenco with the same, this is just like a pointed blender brush. This is actually from Coastal Scents that can give you a little more detail to where you're putting it would work. This one's got good pigment and I'm just kind of patting this in here to the inner part of the crease. This one almost seems darker. So this is kind of a more peachy shade and then that middle one has got more purple to it, which I'm gonna go in and fix some. I'm just gonna go back in with Delia and blend where those shades meet. I'm just gonna stick with this same brush. We'll see how it does on the outer V and go in with that. I really don't know what this word is, a pice. And that's just going to go on the outer part of the crease, and then I'm going to wrap that around that outer V area. So kind of a pretty sunset look. I think I would like to, I think I would like this palette for traveling with. Because sometimes when I travel, I mean, I always like doing purpley sunset looks, but sometimes I do lean on a more neutral look depending on what I'm traveling for and what the occasion is. So I could definitely see this palette as having a lot of different options to offer. I think I like that inner corner crease shade for my lower lash line. And then I think I'm gonna do a purple waterline. Okay, for my shimmer shade, I think I'm gonna start with Sass, which is this purpley shade right here. I feel like this palette also has a really good variety of shimmers and mattes to it. So you could create lots of different looks. And this is just a Real Techniques detailer brush. Okay, I'm pulling this all the way to the inner corner and then on the very inner corner, I'm gonna use a lighter shimmer shade. Just not sure what yet. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe 507 brush and that purple shade that I used on the outer part and just blend the shimmer shade and the matte shade together more. All right, I think for the very inner corner, I'm gonna take this shade Fearless. So it's the lightest shimmer shade in the palette. And I'm gonna use that same brush so that it still has a little bit of that purple on it. For the waterline, I'm gonna use Piggy Bank from ColourPop. That Piggy Bank looks really good with this eye color, I think. Okay, before I finish up my eyes, which I'm gonna do black tight line, black wing liner, and mascara, I've got a setting spray that I'm gonna try out. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Glow Mist that I got in this BoxyCharm Premium box. And it says, it's a $28 value, and it is a hydrating mist and ultra fine and delicate to envelop your skin like a dreamy morning fall. This formula is packed with a juicy blend of 84% watermelon, hyaluronic acid, and hibiscus AHAs to refresh skin and enhance makeup. So this, how many ounces is this? Two and a half ounces. Let me see what a standard setting spray is about four ounces. So $28 is kind of expensive for this. So let's see. Look how stinking cute this bottle is. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. 
I would say that that is definitely accurate on how they describe that mist. It's really, really fine. The closest thing I could compare it to is the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray, but this one has got the pump. So I would say they did a really good job making an ultra fine mist out of a pump. I don't know how well it will work as a setting spray, but I will be trying it out more to see. It smells amazing though. I, I will love using it just to smell the watermelon smell. Um, let me go ahead and finish my eyes and then we will finish up the box. All right, I have got my eyes all done and we have got a few more products in this box. First one I've got is the 24K Gold Foil Moisturizer. I am gonna open this up and look at this. It says F-A-C-C-I-A Skincare Fashi. Fashi. I have no idea how to say that. It says it's a 24 karat gold foil moisturizing cream to help dry areas disappear without leaving behind a greasy residue. Its unique formula helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while firming, tightening, and locking moisturizer into the skin. It says that this is a $100 value. Oh, that is so pretty. I feel like lately a lot of the skincare things I've been getting from BoxyCharm could be like I could just sit on display. Um, they're so pretty. So we've got in like a Farsali, two Farsali products that are really pretty packaging. I've gotten two of the Watermelon Glow recipe ones. Those are really pretty as well. This little Elmis face oil is so pretty. So I am loving all of the beautiful packaging of these skincare products that we've been getting for sure. And the last product is, where is it? Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. So this is from their Double Duty Beauty line. And this one is, the value of this one's $30. I have never tried it. Here's what it looks like. Um, I've never tried this one. I don't know if I'm going to try it or if I'm going to put, end up putting this in a giveaway because I do have a lot of primers already. And my guess is it's close to the Smashbox primerizer based on how it looks. Uh, it says prep yourself before you perfect yourself. Turn up the base with this vegan coconut priming serum that hydrates your skin for 12 hours. Rich, lightweight makeup magnet is infused with a blend of coconut botanicals and helps to nourish and smooth skin's appearance. So it seems like it is a skincare product and also a primer. So I wanna go over the value of the box and what I would put the value of the box at. Okay, so the value of the box is about a $260 value and this box does cost it's either $34.99 or $35. This is the premium box. Now I wanna talk about what I would put at the value of these in terms of whether I would actually go out and purchase them. If I were gonna purchase a like product like it, what would I pay for it? So that kind of helps me determine, is this box worth it for me? I'm guessing that this box is definitely gonna be worth it for me. Um, for a body butter, I'm gonna put, I, I could probably get a good one for, let's say six or $7. And I definitely would purchase a body lotion. For a blush, I would put a $10 value on this. Now I would not go out and buy this blush, but if there were, but if Hourglass or Sephora or something was having a sale on their Hourglass blush blushes, I would buy one for $10. So I'm gonna say that's a $10 value. So we're up to about $16 right now. I do not need another primer. I would have not gone and bought another primer. So I'm gonna put $0 on this one. 50 grams, what is that? Is that like 1.7 ounces? I think it's 1.7 ounces. So for 1.7 ounce moisturizer, I would say probably $20. So we're at about $36 right now. And then we've got this Picante one. I would not have gone out and purchased this, but I did want to try this brand. So I would, I don't know, let's say $15. It's a total random number, but the $30 value, I wouldn't have purchased it, but I did want to try the brand. So we're just we're just grabbing a, a random number out there, what I would give it the value of. So $15, we're up to about $50. And the last one is this Glow Recipe Watermelon one. This one is a $30 value, $28 value. Uh, I would say like $10 to me. So we're up to $60 of things that I would actually go out and purchase or wanted to try. So this box is definitely worth it. It's a $35 box. For me, I would have spent $25 more on it. I hope that makes sense the way I do that. But it's really important, especially with subscription boxes, to make sure that 
it's worth my money because they do cost money and if I'm continuing to get it but it's not actually a value for me then it's a waste of money. I am going to get the what is March's box. March's BoxyCharm Premium box is supposed to be all Fenty is it? So I am getting that box but I think that's probably going to be my last BoxyCharm Premium box because I I just have I have a lot of makeup. I have a lot of makeup, I have a lot of beauty products, and that's $35 a month that I could be saving instead. Or getting products that I really wanna try. That is my BoxyCharm Premium box for this month. So our giveaway winner, and just a reminder, it was the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is for the two year giveaway. It feels like it was so long ago. Uh, and then these, all these goodies in here. So it is Sierra Shannon. So congratulations to Sierra. And thank you all of you for entering that giveaway and sticking around and subscribing. I will have another one coming up soon, probably a spring one. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this BoxyCharm unboxing. I would love to know what your choice was for the BoxyCharm Premium Box. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!